I'm just out around me, then but look, I got it right. Don't you try to hear me now, you live a petty life. All those nights I laid awake, I pray for better life. Now I wake up with a body like I said I might. This a better life, you never tried, I bet it right. This a better life, you never tried, I bet it right. You can stuck this way, you up because you never tried. For a better life, I had a time, I bet it right. Yeah, I just took a chance and yeah, let me write. Uh, I just took a chance and yeah, I rolled the dice. Yeah, women, I'll be bad because the folk was nice. Uh, yeah, I must admit that this ain't overnight. I just hit the double with the jet I'm in the snow, it's in the wind, but I'm dying high. Now I'm not it for the music when I can't stop. Hang around me anywhere to ask me. Ask a favor what a shout out to gas me. Really, they ain't take a risk, but want the outcome. And asking how come. I'm a signing on the city lights. All this doubt around me, then but look, I got it right. Don't you try to hit me now, you live a petty life. All those nights I laid awake, I pray for better life. Now I wake up with a body like I said I might. This a better life, you never tried, I bet it right. This a better life, you never tried, I bet it right. You can start this way you up because you never tried. For a better life, I had a time. Come on, in this. I call the shots, I never call it quits. Trust my intuition, bet it's right and bitch, it often is. Seen too many others come and go, they had the wrong intent. Do it out of love and never for it, then I watch it get. Bigger than expected, no second guess it, I let it set it. It's God's plan, we out here only accepting blessings. I'm stuck with it, this mindset is terminal. In and out different terminals, leveling up is personal. Now I already made it, y'all can miss me. I smack my girl's ass, tell her pinch me. It's hard to believe I made something from nothing. No hindsight discussions. I've been writing, I, I love it. All this doubt around me, then but look, I got it right. Don't you try to hit me, now you live a petty life. All those nights I laid awake, I pray for better life. Now I wake up with a body like I said I might. What's up, everybody? Hello. This is the first day of Vlogmas, and I'm coming to you live from the um, Central Arkansas Library System. It is my new office here, and I wanted to start off Vlogmas um, to look back at last year when I was stuck at home during the pandemic. I did Vlogmas to keep me kind of sane and to sharpen my skills and find my voice, and I would did this every day for all of Vlogmas. And if you're thinking about doing Vlogmas, I'll give you some reasons why to do it. One, the community. Met a lot of great friends. Uh, we had a lot of fun during last year's Vlogmas. I met a lot of new people. Um, learned a lot of new skills. And from that, also met uh, DJ Strick. And, you know, after that Vlogmas, we started uh, the stream show live with Strick and Brandt. So we've been doing that. All this year, uh, we have two more episodes left for this year, but I've enjoyed doing all of that, and I wouldn't have done that without Vlogmas. Now, last year this time, I was the marketing director for a credit union, but my background is in broadcast television and content creation, and I really wanted you know, to get back into being a content creator. So, what did this do for me? I was able to land this job. I am the content creator for Central Arkansas Library. And we can see it. Let's see. There we go. My ID is a little dirty. There we go. And that's actually content creator. So I can literally say I'm a content creator. So been here for about a month. Fast track. Try to set up a program here. I knew what to do the first week. I think I went live three or four times with um, our team here and our executive director, um, which he was super impressed we were able to go live turn things out quick all of that i learned you know from using ecamm um so today i was just going to talk a little bit about my job here and what i'm working on is we have a youtube channel it's just kind of been a placeholder for programming and things that you know kids programming or adult programming you know just kind of a video version of what they do in real life but we're going to try to move that into a different direction they're finding me some space to um, build a studio, so I'm going to kind of, I'll probably vlog about that along the way. Uh, one of the things that's cool is this is, I'm coming to you live right now from a uh, MacBook Pro M1. Um, those just came out and they said, get you a computer, 
I didn't get the maxed out one, but I got the mid-range MacBook Pro with a terabyte drive, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I think that's what I got. Super awesome. This is a 1080p camera from there. I had my cameras and stuff set up, but I have um, took those home because I have my studio at home. And building a studio at home, some people might say, you know, why should you build a studio at home? I actually did my interview for this job because it was during um, COVID. And I interviewed with them on my set. So I was able to look super professional and I was able to point to them to the, the stream show and say, this is what I can do. And so um, if you, there is plenty of reasons to do Vlogmas. So you might be scared, you might be shy, you might not know what you want to do, but just get out there and do it. So one of the things that really helped me learn is I had to buy, start buying things. So of all of everybody in the Ecamm group that have shared different equipment, I have started ordering stuff. So things have just started to come in. I'm going to go with the Wireless Go 2 from Rode. Um, I have a pair of these personally that I really, really love. And um, these are just amazing. So I'm going to use those for here. I ended up getting, because I'm going to be doing a lot of field video production, I got a Rode NTG2. You can see that there. I got the Dead Cat. I even got a Boom Pole so I could do some, uh, you know, legit work there. I'm going to go with the um, uh, Sony FX3. So that is like the baby uh, tier version. It's the lowest or the smallest camera in the Cine line. So... Um, we're gonna do that. So, problem is, is that's on back order. So hopefully it'll be in in December. Um, I went ahead and with the Sony lens. I just got a generic, you know, I mean a good mid-range lens, so I can do a lot of different things with this one camera. It'll be kind of a run and gun, and I'll use it for the studio. Um, as I get more budget, I'm gonna actually build this three-camera studio. I'll probably go with a Blackmagic Pro studio cameras, um, but. Then I picked up this Cine lens, SLR Magic. It wasn't very expensive. It's E-mount lens, so it'll work with the Sony. Um, and I'll give you some reviews on that once I get the camera body. So waiting on the camera body. Let's see. That's too much. I got some lights, and I got a um, teleprompter. So I got the Glide Gear teleprompter, which I know a lot of people have. So it was really um, exciting you know, to kind of know what I'm doing. Right, because we've been been watching everybody buy products, reviewing products. I've been doing it myself, so it's been really, really cool. And for some reason, if somebody can help me out, I'll pull your uh, comments up here. Um, it said because I'm not an administrator in the group, it wouldn't pull up the um, who the people are, the names. So if there's a way for me to fix that, let me know. Um, thank you. The MacBook Cam does look great, and it's 1080p. Um, works really, really well. I can see your names because I'm watching here. we got Colin, Wayne, Sammy Cool. Hey, Sammy. What camera did I get? I did get the FX3. Um, so... I didn't get that. Look, could you try again? I said Sammy and she thought I said Siri. I don't know what she's doing to me, Sammy. So, um, this will be my first Vlogmas. If you have any questions, you can say here in the comments. I do want to figure out how to get... Uh, so I can see your names and everything in there. And for some reason it says here, Ecamm Live will not receive the names of the commenters because you are not a group administrator. So is there a way for me to fix that? Uh, let me know. Um, so yeah, that's it. So started Vlogmas from last year, um, working from home. Now I'm a content creator at our public library and I have a running show that's live with Strick. And I'm working on my own show and... Um, not going to release it yet. I'm going to start a brand new YouTube channel from scratch and I'm going to probably vlog about that as well as how I start it, what my content is, developing the opens, the bumpers, the graphics, the names, everything that I have done so far and start launching that um, here pretty soon. But I'm going to be redoing my studio at home. We got two episodes of this Sunday and next Sunday will be live um, at the stream show and then after that wraps for the year, I'm going to redo the studio. So um, everything's kind of cool. Um, love my job here. Like I said, the first day I was able to, um, I'll show you real quick. We'll do this. I was able to make scenes for our director. So, you know, he said he wanted to uh, do video uh, updates to the staff. 
And so I just really quickly made this for him and all changes. So I was able to make his overlays now with the new graphics, you know, I have the outline and everything. I was able to just add that, build it real quick. I built it. We record it live. Yeah, I just record it straight to tape. I'm able to upload to YouTube, send it to the marketing department, and we're able to email it out. So he's been super excited, excited because um, in the past it took a long time to edit it or you know didn't get uh, out in a timely manner. So um, I see. Let's see. How did you get the job? Where is this? Um, I'm looking here. How did you get this job? So I got this job because I saw it. Um, I think it was on Indeed and I actually turned it down twice because the money wasn't good enough for wasn't comparable to what I was making and the HR director said if you know they could work with me we went back and forth did the um, um, did the interview everything came close to what I was making um, but the mission here is way better than what I was doing and I'm the content creator that's my job that's my title it's a new program here, so I get to make it kind of what I want to be. Um, I'm going to be doing a show here called The Table of Contents, and we have 14 um, libraries around Central Arkansas that all have their own programming. So I'm going to try to make a show, a weekly show, to pull all that stuff together so people can we can promote everything. And um, I've got a, one of my coworkers; she's a chef, so we're going to do a cooking show. So these are all things we're working on. Getting the equipment was the first, was the very first um, thing to do. I had to get all that equipment. Um, so you know it's been slowly coming in. Um, the biggest thing was finding me some space. Um, we do have an area that I'm kind of, kind of uh, took. You know, we looked at a space. We have like a startup incubator, and there's a space there for me to build a studio. So um, working on building the studio. Um, because you know you have to have this nice setup to do all this right now I've just been remote producing with um, our director here or my coworkers just through our face cameras FaceTime cameras and things like that um, so this that's been going pretty well but I'm ready to get a studio built um, I even got I'm probably gonna do some stuff here in this office but I mean I'm on the third floor looking over downtown Little Rock it's a beautiful office I love to be back town I love downtown uh, I love everybody I work with. We do amazing things here from vaccinations to feeding the homeless to you can check out uh, Wi-Fi hotspots. You can um, learn how to code. You can So there's all these things you can do in our library. We even have a tool library where you can check out uh, tools to work on things. So there's tons of content for me to do here. A little overwhelming, uh, but I'm going to try to just do this mostly live to tape or live, live stream, with a weekly show that's the first goal so it'll be like a 30 minutes an hour talk show format think of it as like a very um, upscale public access show where I could have guests from each library come in and talk about their specific uh, expertise talk about the new books coming in I have somebody that wants to do a uh, review of graphic novels or movie reviews because we rent a lot of DVDs to people or not rent but check out so um, are you on the mic? I see Colin here. Are you on the mic? Yes, this is the mic and the camera and everything in the MacBook Pro 16 inch. It's good. The speakers are good. It sounds good. The camera's good. Um, like I said, I have all this. I just haven't set it up yet. Um, I took my microphones that I have. I have the MB7 at home. I had had it here at the office. I had my 4K video camera up. Um, but I just took it all home because I had to work at home. Um, the other thing here is I have about a gigabyte up, gigabyte down. The last speed test I did was like 890 up, 890 down. So I'm connected, you know, so everything should look super clean, super smooth just because of that. So the upload and download speed is crazy. So I'm going to probably go ahead and just wrap it up. Um, I, like I said, I've got, um, I'll be doing this vlog, doing this every day for Vlogmas. I'll probably do them here from the office just like this. Um, keep you updated on what's going on here. Um, if anybody has any questions, especially if you're looking for a job as a content creator or you want to start your own show, you know, you can ask me. I'll be glad to offer those ideas. Um, 
some of the things I did today. So I did for my new show and for my new 2022, my goal is to make actual money from a show I do on YouTube. So um, I want to see if I can actually do that from scratch. So some of the things I invested in today. So I went ahead and bought um, Artlist. So Artlist.io, I did a yearly subscription to that. That was the music that I used for the open. I've looked all over. I've listened to all of the services. Artlist.io was the best choice for me because I like the music. And you can use it in um, commercial production. So I do, um, you know, I freelance on the side and do productions for people. So I could use all that music. So that was really good. I got my yearly subscription to Envato Elements to help with backgrounds. Um, I invest in, I've, I've invested in Canva. I've had Canva for a long time. Um, so there was something else that I ended up getting a year subscription to. I can't remember. Oh, I, I, I took the offer that they had for Restream. So I'm not restreaming this one right now. I'll set that up later and maybe go to my YouTube channel as well as here. Um, so I went ahead and paid for those things up front. So I don't have to worry about that. I'm giving myself a, a one-year runway to do this new show. So um, to give you a little hint, um, it'll have to do with the metaverse. So the metaverse is something I'm really excited about, something I've been really researching for the past six months probably. And when Facebook announced Meta, I decided it was time to go full in for the Meta. So I'll have a new show launching pretty soon, like I said, and uh, I don't want to release there's some hints here in the graphics but I won't release that yet um, I'm gonna do my first episode soon um, but there's a lot of research for that so I'm trying to work up guests and trying to get some of the technology things I just got the uh, uh, oculus quest 2 I've been playing with that and um, or researching playing with that and that's been a lot of fun and kind of really game changer for me for what I think content is doing going forward I see DJ Strick is here, says we are live. Thank you very much, Strick, for joining us. Again, if anybody can help me figure out why, let's see how I can get the, um, the comments to show up. Like I said, it says Ecamm Live will not receive the names of commenters because you are not a group administrator. So I don't know if there's a way to fix that or not, but we'll see. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you're out there and you're thinking about doing Vlogmas, um, there's what I'm trying to think. There's what 17,000 people in this group. You're bound to meet a good friend or two. I've met a lot um, in doing Vlogmas last year. It kind of changed the trajectory of my career and um, completely um, reinvigorated my um, desire and my for content creation. So. Um, Four or five years ago, I was doing it professionally. I kind of got burnt out, and Vlogmas Real helped me figure um, how to get back into it and meet all the friends that I have here in the Ecamm Live uh, community, the Ecamm fam. Um, you know, the, they're the ones that help. We help each other out. Um, they always answer questions. They'll come and be guests on each other's shows, and it's always a lot of fun. Um, so get your phone, get your camera, get your laptop, whatever you have. Don't worry about if you don't have enough, you don't think your camera's good enough, or your microphone's good enough, just go live for the next uh, 31 days and I guarantee you, you won't be upset because you will learn something new, you will meet new people, and you never know, it might change your career path. All right, we'll see everybody and tomorrow and I look forward to looking at everybody else's vlog misses tonight and I don't know if there's going to be a review show like we did last year um, if it is let me know I'd be glad to host or co-host and look at some videos but I want to see everybody's work let's get out there and let's go live